Hey everyone, it's Jack of Mini Trades back here again with another video. And yesterday, Neural DSP released a communication which brings a lot of really exciting news about the future of the quad cortex. Before we get started, please be sure to like and, of course, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest quad cortex news and updates. But with that being said, Neural DSP's most recent communication for the month of September is pretty surprising, and I really think it lays out an exciting look into the future of the quad cortex platform as a whole. Firstly, they started off by announcing that they're going to be releasing a new version of Archetype Pliny, which is dubbed Archetype Pliny X. This is going to be a free update for the existing users and, of course, anybody who buys it afterwards. This is going to bring some new features and changes, but perhaps most importantly, this marks a milestone for the Quad Cortex plugin compatibility which of course we've all been waiting for. And Archetype Pliny will be the first plugin that is compatible with the Quad Cortex platform, which is super exciting news. Unfortunately though, upon its release, the plugin's not going to be available for use on the Quad Cortex, since significant improvements to both architecture of the plugins, as well as the Quad Cortex had to be implemented. And so we're going to need to get a new CoreOS update for the Quad Cortex to actually enable you to work with these plugins. But with that being said, any plugin that is updated in the future with that X label at the end means that it's going to be compatible with the Quad Cortex when that CoreOS update is announced. Another note about the plugins themselves is that they're going to be given global features like Transpose, Doubler, Metronome, and of course a Live Tuner. So those are some pretty cool updates coming to all of the plugins when they are updated to that new X form. Though again, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the plugins right away. They did release some screenshots and descriptions of how the plugins are going to work with CoreOS when it's updated to work with the plugins. So the first screenshot that I'm going to show here shows how the plugins are going to be implemented inside of the Quad Cortex. They're basically going to be new device blocks and can be selected from the menu so that way you can just put them onto the grid. So that's really cool. And they also have that little plugin moniker at the bottom. So you'll be able to see from the grid whether your device is a plugin uh, device or it's not. Another thing that's really important is that since Neural DSP's plugins are managed through iLock, if you have more than one iLock account, they're going to be actually increasing the number of connected accounts that you can have linked to your Neural DSP account from one to three. This is really important for those of you guys who have activated Neural DSP plugins that you own on multiple iLock accounts because now you'll be able to link all of those to your Neural DSP account and then get access to them on your Quad Cortex floorboard. And another thing thing that is sort of in a similar vein is that if you have more than one quad cortex, say you're a touring musician and you like to have backups, you're going to be able to load your plugins on up to three quad cortexes at a time. Another thing that's really exciting is that the quad cortex only needs to have an internet connection to verify your ownership of the plugins. Once that's established, you're going to be able to use your Quad Cortex with the plugins with no issues offline. So that really is super important. And another thing that I'm sure that you guys are all going to be relieved about is that the Quad Cortex doesn't count as a computer in your iLock account. So if you only have one more slot or you have no slots available in your iLock, you can still use the Quad Cortex and the plugins. One of the other things that's also really important to note is that you can load presets that you make inside of the plugins to work directly with the Quad Cortex. As well, you can also mix and match any of the Quad Cortex blocks with any of the plugin blocks and vice versa, which is really exciting because there's a lot of extremely awesome effects on both the plugin side as well as the Quad Cortex side, and the fact that we're going to be able to swap between the two is really exciting. The Neural DSP team also expect that new batches of Quad Cortex compatible plugins are going to be able to be released every couple of months or so. And in that time, their whole library of plugins will eventually be available on the Quad Cortex. You can think of it similarly to their transition to Apple Silicon. And so I think that the same thing will happen here. As a final note about the interplay of plugins with the Quad Cortex platform is that future plugins may not always be released alongside their Quad Cortex compatible counterparts right away. And the reason for this is that some of the features that they build into the desktop compatible plugins take a long time to make compatible with the hardware and software of the Quad Cortex, which could significantly slow down the rollout of the plugins, and they don't really want to make that compromise. 
So as I've been saying for months, as uncomfortable as it may be, you do have to understand that Neural DSP are really trying their hardest to get these features out to us as soon as possible, but they are a relatively small team. And unfortunately, these problems are pretty complex and they need to be thoroughly tested and validated before public release. But with that being said, please make sure that you comment down below your thoughts on this exciting new news update and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the news updates as well as CoreOS demonstrations. And I will see you guys in the next video.